a lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Alpha. I am Pauline Marston Tomlinson. Today we're looking at the wickedness of man. Let us pray. Father, one more time we come to open your words and to learn of you. May you open our hearts to receive your words so that we can be transformed for your glory. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. The wickedness of man. Did you know that Lamech was Cain's great, great, great grandson? And today we're look, going to look at a comparison of the life of Cain and Lamech because this is very instructive to us. While Cain keeps silent about his only recorded crime, Lamech seems to be boasting about it. And of course, he expressed it in a song. And you can find that in Genesis 4, verse 23 and 24. While Cain asked God for mercy, Lamech is not recorded as asking for it. While Cain is avenged seven times by God, Lamech believes that he will be avenged 77 times. And this is found in Genesis 4, verse 24. And this is a hint that he is very much aware of his guilt. Also, Cain is monogamous. Lamech introduces polygamy. For the scripture specifically says he took for himself two wives. This intensification and exaltation of evil will definitely affect the next generation of Canaanites. Now following immediately this episode of evil in the Canaanite family, the biblical text records a new event that counters the Canaanite trend. Adam knew his wife. That's found in Genesis 4 verse 25. And the result is the birth of Seth, whose name is given by Eve to indicate that God had put another seed in place of Abel. In fact, the history of the name Seth precedes Abel. The same Seth is derived from the Hebrew verb ashit, I will put, which introduces the Messianic prophecy. The Messianic seed will be passed on in the Sethite line. The biblical text gives then the record of the Messian Messianic line beginning with Seth and including Enoch, Methuselah, and ending with Noah. Let's look at Genesis 6 verse 2 that talks about the sons of God. When we talk about the sons of God, it refers to the line of Seth because they are designed to preserve the image of God. On the other hand, the daughters of men seem to have a negative connotation, contrasting the offsprings of those in the image of God with those in the image of men. And it is under the influence of these daughters of men that the Son of God took wives for themselves, of whom they all chose. My brothers and sisters, a careful look at what happens here indicates the wrong direction humanity was heading. My brothers and sisters, we truly understand that Cain left a legacy and this legacy of Cain's crime opened the way for increasing wickedness of humankind. And that, my friend, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Father in heaven, 
we have no other help but you we understand that we're wicked but we thank you that you died so that we can have life and we do not have to walk in the path of Cain continue to bless us and keep us focused on you as we give you thanks in Jesus name it was a delight sharing with you another episode of Alpha and do join us tomorrow when you will also get another episode God bless you A Lesson for All, daily at 6 a.m.